day two here in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Yesterday was great. It's not what I expected it to be. Pero today, we have another chance to try to go to Batu Caves again. Because <laughs> yesterday, we didn't even get to go there. So, it's 9 o'clock. And later today, we are going to leave for our flight na by 4. So, we have to get back by 12. So, we'll be having some time to sleep before the flight. So, right now, I'm just wearing this cotton on dress with the sneakers because we will be heading up the steps when we get to Batu Caves and yeah we will just grab a quick breakfast and we will be going on our way there so wish me luck this time na we will be able to really go this time so let's go ayun ganda pala ng room dito in fairness ang laki yeah so we are going to go from here to go back and then take a taxi to back place. Let's see how that works out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it ties the train stations, uh, and park park. And we're going to Gondak station. Hopefully, we'll find the taxi there to take us to Batu Caves. Batu Caves! Yay! We made it! So I took the LRT to Gombak Station and from Gombak Station I took a taxi. I paid 11 ringgit to get here. It's only like 10 minutes to get here from Gombak Station. exactly 272 steps to go to the top and people come here usually in January to February to for their festival or shorts for women so you're supposed to wear a sarong going up and uh, deposit five ringgit and then you will get it back after you give back the sarong so that's so cool of them I desperately want a picture here but there's no one with me anyways let's do this <laughs> Right behind me are the 272 steps to reach to the top of the Batu Caves. That is like an ancient temple where Hindus worship their deity gods. So we're gonna go out and check it out. Come with me. Let's go. 
we have here a visitor. Oh no, we are their visitor. How are you guys? What can you say about the visitors here? Hello. Hi. So I have your friend. He's not talking to me. It's busy. Hi there. Hi little friend. Finally, we made it to the top of the stairs. Oh my god, and this is what we have right here. So pretty. Let me show you guys. So this is the entrance of the cave. It's a Hindu temple. We have their place where we could get here like this. And also right there, meron silang mga purple over there. There, purple one. So nice, diba? So let's go. We have reached the top of the Batu Caves and we have here a temple, a Hindu temple that they have located right on the most uh, sacred part of this temple. This is such a beautiful place and I couldn't, I wouldn't blame, you know, the Hindus, the early Hindus to, to when they decided to make this one of their place of worship. So it is very nice and very, I don't know, spiritual. It's like it's like really close to nature and here you can see the creation it's so beautiful and just how the sun comes in and light the whole area it's so it's so like so nice i can't i don't have any words but you can see there's a lot of tourists here and it's very well worth it the 272 steps to reach this point of the area it's just so beautiful and there's no entrance fee so where there's nothing you could lose just um spending some time with nature and and you know discovering the hindu traditions and culture it is actually a functioning tem temple right now people come there to to pray to get their um Bindasa or what do you call those uh, things they put on their heads for the Hindu traditions. So it is so so beautiful. There's nothing there's nothing in the world like it. And it's so pretty. See? Parang may bilog sa taas tapos dun pumapasok yung light. Parang same na mga churches natin. Pero yung churches natin is man-made na. Pero the same structure na pumapasok yung ilaw sa baba. And parang, parang yung walls ng caves. Parang yung walls na sobrang taas, sobrang taas na ceiling. Ang ganda. Ang ganda talaga. Okay. Ang ganda. It's just like the same when I went to India. They have this kind of statues in the Bridahishwar temple as well. So ayun, ganda. Diba? Ayun na. Tama na to, uwi na ako kasi tanghali na and I realized na para sa vlog, nagawa ko talaga. I came here, I did it and it's time for us to go back down. Let's go! So guys, tapos na tayo sa caves. We are going back down. 
and I believe mas mabilis bumba kasi sa umakyat. So, let's do it guys. Ah, patahot. Baka mahulog ako. Yeah. One step at a time guys. One step at a time. Ganda ng place oh. Napaka nature. And that's the cave. Ayan. Katanghali na. Kaya mainit. May hangin naman. Pero bet naman siya. Okay naman siya. Hindi naman siya ganun ka. So, sobra sobrang init. Buti na lang. Thank God for blessing us with, blessing us with winds. At hindi siya ganun ka init. Tsaka buti na lang din, cotton ang suot ko. By the way, this dress is from cotton on. Ngayon <laughs> na-absorb niya ata yung lahat ng pawis ko sa likod. <laughs> Ew, TMI. <laughs> so, ayan na. Ayan na yung statue. Laki niya, sobra. Thank you, hi! Hi! Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so she gave me two ringgit as my refund. And we're off. Uh, go back. Basically, uh, they will ask for five ringgit to lend you a sarong, and then the refund would be two ringgit. So basically, you pay three ringgit for the skirts. Yeah, I thought I will be given another five, but yeah, I was so shocked. Na lang pala. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be alright. So I'm just gonna put my sun gears on because it's hot. Now we're gonna find our way back to the hotel, okay? Puti na lang talaga, guys. I came early to here, to the Batu Caves. Kasi, if not, I would have arrived at noon. At grabe, ang init-init, guys. Sobrang init. Parang noon din sa atin. So, ayun na, yung Maruga statue. The tallest one in the world. And, yeah. I'm so happy then na uh, the concierge at the hotel told me to do this road route because if not i would have taken the longer way it's so much easier to just go to the last station which is the gombak station and then take a taxi 10 minutes away to the station Mas mabilis siya. guys um, if you are going to take a taxi sa loob ano bibigyan kanila ng straight magiging 20 uh, ringgit pero mas better maghil ka na lang sa labas sa labas lang naman ng gate naghilaw ng taxi so you will go na by metro na di ba <laughs> wala lang mga ano mga tips for the travelers para ring pilas ninyo eh sabi nga doon ni kuya sorry ganun yung single namin kasi nag parking pa daw sila doon so ayun it's okay hanap ka na lang sa labas madali lang naman makahanap ng ano taxi kasi marami ring nagda-drop off ng mga tourist so ayun Station, Gombak Station, where Malatad Bat Caves. You can take a taxi from here. Ten minutes long, siya. It's only like eleven ringgit to get there. And you can also take this uh, route coming back. So just take a taxi from outside Bat Caves. Come back here, take the LRT, go to Ampang Park, and that's just beside the hotel that we are staying right now in Kuala Lumpur. So yeah, tutorial. This is like a Hmm. Commute tutorial video. <laughs> so, ito, I got some roti from the vegetarian store and some snacks because I na ako. So, it's already like almost 1 o'clock. So, I'm gonna eat this at the train. I hope it's okay. Yeah. From there, I'm gonna eat another meal. Let's go and try to gain some more weight this year. <laughs> and yeah. Um, about it I think I'm gonna end this vlog right now me standing on the train yeah <laughs> waiting for the train um, all I could say is masaya yung Bato Caves tuwantawa ako kasi nature even this place so close to nature see and daming nature thing and what I can say about Malaysia ang ganda ng Malaysia guys walang squatters I talked to the taxi driver earlier sabi niya Ano, they are required to live in those buildings. Sabi ko, ah, talaga, parang Singapore. Sabi niya, yes, parang Singapore. And also, I'm very impressed by their, ano, LRT, LRT line. It's so clean and, ano, modern. Ganda. Madaling maintindihan. 
Tapos mabait din yung mga taxi driver, hindi rin sila yung mga manloloko. And also the shopping, oh my god, the shopping is nice. Actually, doon lang nga ako nag-shop sa maliit lang na mall. Pero I already got stuff na ano, on sale like this dress from Cotton On. <laughs> it's so cheap. And um, yeah, that's all I can say about Malaysia. I hope you enjoy Malaysia with me. Maraming ano dito, Pinoy din actually. I guess I'm gonna take this train na. So, all I can say is please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already been subscribed, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! Sign up on the train! Bye!